What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Kill coming back with another video, man. You already know what's going on. We about to go ahead and break down this mix real quick. Um, I'm going to just play it real quick with not much on it, but this auto-tune. So let's go ahead and vibe with it real quick so you can hear what's going on. This is dry, just auto-tune, no reverb, no EQ, no compression, none of that. So let's listen to it. Bro, like I'm bro. All right, so you can hear you can hear what he's saying, but it's muffled. It ain't cutting through the mix, and it's, it's you know it ain't really got that much energy to it right now. So we want to sauce this up. We want to give it more energy. We want to make it cut through the mix, all that. You know what I'm saying? So first thing I'm gonna do, just for the tone of it and a little saturation, I'm gonna put a decapitator on here. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really saturating it much. It's really more of a tone thing. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm going to just put this on here, and then the next thing I'm going to put on here, I don't really do much. I just actually, literally, I like the sound of this algorithm. So, A, I didn't even push the drive. I'm not going to push the drive at all on this mix. We kind of reworking it. I already mixed this. Uh song is out now on Spotify. Link in the description. But um, next thing you know right here, I got this NS1, and just it's taking a little bit of this noise out so a noise suppressor you know what i'm saying so uh 9.5 on that i'm pushing that a little bit so let's just introduce those two and play it real quick all right so that's just very subtle that's just getting a little bit you know of that noise out or whatever next thing is i'm gonna go ahead and go with this avalon right here and uh what i did on the avalon was not too much um i basically did a little bit of subtractive eq on this 100 just taking that mud it's really muffled right now and it's low and it's got it's just like something over you know what i'm saying it's like he rapped with a mask on or something like it's really muffled so i took this low end out and then i went ahead and boosted this 20k right here on the treble just to bring it out a little bit more um and then i had a high pass filter right here to 80. put your faith in me i be trapping like i'm a gangster like my dad was i squeeze that time because i'm time is signed I made a honey, not no honey bun. Put All right, so you can hear that like off rip, like it's already cutting a lot of them lows out that was making it muddy right there. So let me just play it without it and then enable it. Grinding like I'm broke. Like I'm broke. Like I'm broke. Grinding like I'm broke. Like I'm broke. Like I'm broke. Like I'm broke. Yeah. Grinding like I'm broke. But hot like I got five stars. I be in hotels. All right, and then I gave it a little bit of like impression. You can see the compressor working right there, really hitting on like negative 2 dB, nothing too crazy. Just to smooth it out a little bit, but you can see that that 100 cut right there, um, it's starting to really help get that like ugly low end part of the vocal just out of there. You know what I'm saying? So next we're going to do even more. Uh, with this Q8, I did a dip around the 500 frequency, kind of to do that same thing. It was like a boxy muddiness sound around there, so I dipped a good bit of that out. And I rolled off these lows that's not needed. All right, so, you know, it's still kind of low, still kind of muffled, but we just cleaning it up little by little. So next we want to go ahead, and this is what's really going to start to bring the vocal way, way, way out, this SSL channel. You know what I'm saying? We can go crazy with this. So first thing I like to always do on the SSL, hit that split. So this filter is going to come first, and then we're just going to go ahead and roll off these lows that we don't need, probably at least all the way up to like 80. I see that time all right 
So we want to just filter that out to about 80. That's just taking them low ends. And we kind of did the same thing on the Avalon. And then next, we want to go ahead and give it some presence. So let me solo it so you can really hear what's going on. And we're going to go ahead and start boosting. Like my dad was. I squeeze that time because on time is sign. I made a honey, not no honey bun. Put your faith in me. I be trapping like religion. I be doing this faithfully. Throw on crawl like a man, yeah. Spin back, hit up your man, yeah. Ten Broke. Yeah. like I'm broke, but I like I got five stars. I be in hotels, trapping that with bad broads. I hold on that Glock like a Uncle Tom. I'm a gangster like my daddy was. All right, so right now I'm just messing with the EQ. Um, just kind of reworking this. Um, I'm boosting the 10K right now, so I'm just trying to find a sweet spot. All right, so you can see that's starting to give it a little bit more presence, but we really need to boost more. So it's like still kind of muffled, but it's starting to cut through a little bit more and we got to get more volume. And how we going to get more volume is with the compression. So that's coming next. We got a little bit of compression going on, but we're going to use an 1176 and we're going to use a pole child to really bring the vocal all the way there. And I'm actually going to go ahead and introduce some of my sins right now as well. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce the doubler. And it's real simple. Uh, as far as my doubler, I just feed it in, but it's usually the same type of settings most of the time. And then uh, my delay, my short delay, my 1-8-D delay right here that I'm using. Um, and, you know, you always want to make sure your delay is at the right BPM. So 70 BPM is the uh, BPM for this song. So I got it on 70. So everything, all your time-based effects is on time. You want to make sure all of that is on time. Next, I got my reverb, my H verb, three on the time. These are all the settings for the reverb right here. And then um, I got another delay going, like a one-fourth delay. And then some more delays that we're going to get into further on in the mix. That's with automation. You know what I'm saying? Just to bring more production value. So going back to the SSL, it's a lot more that I'm going to do on the SSL right now to really bring this vocal out. Because it's really still dull. It's really still muddy right now. So we did a little bit, but that was just like the pre-work. You know what I'm saying? So now we really finna get into it. So let me play it again, let it play, and then we'll go over what we're going to do on this SSL. So I want to go ahead and mess with the high mid filter right here, and we're gonna kind of sweep. Yeah. All right, so you see that? You see how when I disable it, it's dull again. Now it's starting to get present. We starting to get that presence we looking for. So let me go ahead and disable this. And you always want to make sure when you're boosting that you're not ODing. Like, don't overdo the boost. You know what I'm saying? You might have to boost 3, 4 dB, you know what I'm saying, at one frequency. And then you might have to boost, you know, say like um, maybe only 1 dB on a different frequency. You know what I'm saying? You just got to know it works. So... Right here, let's just play it without it, and I'm gonna enable it again so you can see where we're going with it. Broke, but hot like I got five stars. I be in hotels, trapping that with bad broads. I hold on that Glock like a Uncle Tom. I'm a gangster like my daddy was. I shoot that time because on time is I made a honey, not no honey bun. Oh, 
trying to expose me Grinding like I'm broke But hot like I got five stars I be in hotels Trapping that with bad broads I hold on that Glock like a Uncle Tom I'm a gangster like my daddy was Alright, so I just pulled that back to show y'all Like what cutting that frequency does You can see it makes it more muddy So what we want to do right here is Right around that 4.5k We want to boost that up And I just made my cue point a little bit smaller A little bit narrower I squeeze that time because on time is signed. See how we getting that presence right there? All right, so down here, I kind of want to do a little more of a boost right here at this frequency, too. All right, so as I can hear, the vocals are starting to get some life to it. So uh, next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and mess with this low filter right here. So I want to just cut. I still hear a little bit more of that mud that I'm trying to get out of the vocal. So, you know, you want to cut just enough mud to where it's clean. It's sliding across the beat, but you don't want to OD to where you lose the body of the vocal and the vocal starts sounding thin. So let's go ahead and mess with this. And I, I really can hear it. I know it's somewhere around this between like the three and 400. So we're going to start at about like 300 right here. Alright, so let's disable the SSL real quick. Enable it. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. Alright, so next I want to introduce a little bit of compression on the SSL. So I want to go with a 4 ratio. Like a 4 1 right there. And then I want to go with like a medium release. Not a fast attack. This is a fast attack button, if you didn't know that. So I'm going to leave that. I'm not going to do any type of gate or anything like that, and I'm going to leave my analog on. And we're just going to go ahead and tweak this threshold until we like the sound of it. So let's start back at zero, and we're going to kind of feed that in. All right, so y'all can hear that off rip, you know what I'm saying? Just all that work we just did on the SSL is making these vocals way stronger. So let's play it without it again. And I like that compression right there. It's just a four to one ratio, not OD. And we getting about like 3 dB right here. It's flashing, it's not OD. So it's barely touching like 3 dB. So we just hitting it a little bit. All right, so they're starting to jump out. I like that. So that's pretty much all I'm going to do with the SSL. And we're going to go ahead and do this Poltec. Give it even more presence. Bring it out. Make that top end shine. So um, I'm going to go ahead and instead of boosting the, the 10K like we did on the SSL, I'm going to mess with the 8K. And I'm going to go ahead and do a wider bandwidth, at least like three to six. I'm going to just see what it sounds like. We'll feed that in. But let's go ahead and do a boost right now while it's sharp. And just listen to it. All 
all right, y'all hear how much volume and, and presence that just introduced, but it's almost too much. It's almost too sharp, you know what I'm saying? So I'm boosting it to about six right now, but this is why I like to make my bandwidth broad so that this boost is not so sharp because you already with boost, you're going to get them S's. So you want to make sure that it's smooth. So let me go ahead and play it real quick, and we're going to tweak this bandwidth to get it sounding right. Like a Uncle Tom. I'm a gangster like my daddy was. I screwed that time because on time is sun. I made a honey, not no honey bun. Put your faith in me. I be trapping like religion. I be doing this faithfully. I'm on crawl like a man, yeah. Still trapping that with bad bros. I hold on that Glock like a Uncle Tom. I'm a gangster like my daddy was. All right, so I think that's a lot smoother right there. Just putting that bandwidth to about like 4.1. And um, next, we're going to go ahead and attenuate this 20K right here just to take a little bit more of that sharpness off. So let's play with that real quick. Bro, but hot like I got five stars. I be in hotels, trapping that with bad bros. I hold on that Glock like a Uncle Tom. I'm a gangster like my daddy was. I screwed that time because on time is sun. I made a honey, not no honey bun. Put your faith in me. I be trapping like religion. I be doing this faithfully. I like the way that sounds. We don't want to remuffle it again. So we want to keep that presence, but just kind of knock the edge off of it. You know what I'm saying? So just two on that. I'm going to attenuate two on that. I'm going to leave that there. I like that. And then let's go ahead and mess with this low end right here. So I'm going to go ahead and mess with the 100 frequency and just shave a little bit of that off. all right now he's starting to slap so go ahead and let's turn that off real quick and let's see what we did with that pole tech so far So that's cool right there. And I'm going to do a little dip at this 300, not too much, not OD, because we kind of already did that on the SSL. If you look back, let's pull up the SSL real quick. You see that right here? We is right here at 303, and we dipped out 3.3 dB right there. So we already had a pretty aggressive dip, so we don't need the OD. We don't want to lose the body of the vocal. All right, next we want to smooth it out a little bit more and make them just a little bit more stronger with some compression. It's one of my favorite compressors right here from Waves, Pole Child 670. Um, I'm going to go with a three-time constant because I know how that grabs the vocal. I just like that sound, so I'm going to go with that. And basically, we're just going to go ahead and mess with this input gain. And this channel right here is slaving to what this is doing, so I got them linked. So if I was to go left, right, I can kind of have two different compressions going on for each ear, but that's not what we're trying to do. We want a uniform sound, so we're going to go back to link. So I'm going to go ahead and just mess with this gain a little bit, and we're just going to feed in this threshold. That's another thing I like about this compressor. It's super simple. It's only four knobs, basically, well, five knobs. You got the link layer and all that, but four main knobs you need to be messing with. Put it that way. So let's go ahead and play it again, and I'm going to just tweak this, and we're going to get it sounding right. I made a 
your faith in me. I be trapping like religion. I be doing this faithfully. Block like a hunk of time. I'm a gangster like my daddy was. All right, so I like the way that sounds, and I'm not OD compressing it. It's real strong. The vocals are up front, but they just a little bit loud. But what I'm going to do is, is it's a couple things you can do. You can go ahead and mess with this output gain to bring them down a little bit more. We can push this threshold just a little bit more to smooth out the vocals. So let's just play with it. And then next, we're going to introduce another compressor that's going to really tame them peaks and just bring the vocal all the way in. Bro, but I like I got five stars. I be in hotels. All right, so let's go ahead and disable this whole chain real quick so we see where we're coming from so far. And this is what it was like 20, it's been like 20 minutes. All right, so off rip, you can hear that those vocals was dead, muffled, all that. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and put what we put on there so far. Let's see what it's doing. I'm a gangster like my daddy was. I squeeze that time because I'm Tommy's son. All right, so they slapping out. The only two problems I'm hearing right now, you should be hearing this too, is those S's is crazy and those top transients is crazy. So they popping out too much. With all them boosts we did, sounds good, but it's a little sharp. So instead of pulling back on the boost, first thing we're going to do is put this 1176 on here and it's going to tame the peak. So we're going to stay with a four ratio. We're just going to mess with this attack and release, and we may mess with the input and the output. So let's just play it so far, see what's going on. Broke. Yeah. Grinding like I'm broke, but hot like I got five stars. I be in hotels, trapping that with bad bras. I hold on that Glock like a hunger Tom. I'm a gangster like my daddy was. I squeeze that time because I'm Tommy's son. I made a honey, not no honey bun. Put your face. All right, so I'm going with a fast attack. If you don't know how 1176 works, your right side, your bigger number, that's faster. Smaller number, that's going to be slower. So I'm going with a fast attack, medium, yeah, pretty fast attack right here, in between five and seven. So a fast attack, so it's grabbing that vocal really fast. But I'm also going with a medium fast release, you know what I'm saying? So it's not holding on to an OD long, but it's grabbing it super fast. So that's what this sounds like right here. You can look at the meter working. I like I got five stars. I be in hotels, trapping that with bad bras. I hold on that Glock like a hunger time. I'm a gangster like my daddy was. All right, so cool. I like the way that sounds. The only thing I'm hearing that's sharp to me is the S's. So we about to address that right now. So just a simple waves de -esser. Um, we're gonna put it on here. We might do a little sweeping. Let's just see. Um, we'll just start and see what sounds good. And I'll start all the way up here and we'll pull it down. I squeeze that time because on time is sign. I made a honey, not no honey bun. Put your faith in me. I be trapping like religion. I be doing this faithfully. I'm on call like a band, yeah. Spin back, hit up your man, yeah. Tell you ain't brought to the fan, yeah. Cause I'm in the yo, so ring the alarm, cause a nigga about to murder the beat. I'm the kill, you know what it is, you know it's a kill for cheap. Came up from a thousand, and y'all nigga wildin', cause I get a deal for me. And I get a deal for East. And I get a deal for East. That All right, so now they starting to get crispy. It's really getting in that pocket now. So you got those two compressors working, and then you got that DS are kind of topping everything off around the 5K, and I'm pushing it pretty hard. With bad bras, I hold on that Glock like a Uncle Tom. I'm a gangster like my daddy was. I squeeze that Tommy because I'm Tommy's son. I made a honey, not no honey bun. Put your faith in me. I be trapping like religion. I be doing this faithfully. I'm on call like a band, yeah. Spin back, hit up your man, yeah. Tell you ain't brought to the fan, yeah. Because I'm in the old, so ring the alarm, because they about to murder the beat. I'm the kill, you know what it is, you know it's a kill for cheap. Came up from a thousand, and y'all nigga wildin', because I get a deal for me. And I get a deal for ease. And I get a deal for lean. So I'm sipping it up out of three. I be pouring it up out of beat. I got a plug in down and see. Yeah, I got a game in my pocket, I'm a motherfucking motherfucking 
I'm a gangster like my daddy was. I treat that time because on time is sign. All right, so I think that sounds good right there. Next, um, I'm going to just go through my sins and everything. We had already established these, but uh, these extra sins down here that y'all seeing are just some more delays and stuff like that. So we'll go through them. Repeaters, slate digital, half notes, quarter notes, you know, basic delays, and um, I'm automating them. You know what I'm saying? So right here, this is my send 10. It's my bus 10. Send 10 right here. So that's just the automated delay you'll hear. Let me play it. Broke, but I like I got five stars. I be in hotels. Trapping that with bad brides. I hold on that Glock like a Uncle Tom. I'm a gangster like my daddy was. I squeeze that time because I'm Tommy's son. I made a honey, not no honey bun. Put your faith in me. All right, so now them vocals is live. They slapping, they cutting through, they present. You know what I'm saying? They got good EQ, good DS, and they not muddy anymore. So next thing I did, and I want to just want to show you how the ad libs, because the ad libs really help with this track too. So on the ad libs, the ad libs basically have the same vocal chain as the main vocals, and then they have some extra processing on them on uh, on the actual track right here. You know what I'm saying? So that's a little cheat code right there. Like, if you don't route libs and, you know, you want your ad-libs to sound different, it ain't nothing wrong with having a good sounding vocal chain for the ad-libs that sound just as good as the main vocal. And then you just go ahead and you do more EQ, more compression, more reverb on that actual track to switch up the sauce of it, to change the sound of it. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm going to go ahead and play it real quick. Broke, like I'm broke, like I'm broke, like I'm broke, like I'm broke. So you see them ad libs really bring way more energy to the track. Now with these, if you listening with headphones or you listen with monitors, you can tell they moving around constantly. And how I did that was with Pan Man. So if you look at Pan Man, the vocals are actually moving automated by themselves. You see what I'm saying? And it's pretty dope. It's a whole bunch of different presets you could do in here. You can go through, mess with them if you got sound toys. If you don't got sound toys, I definitely recommend sound toys. So let me just go ahead and let you see that working. You know what I'm saying? He was just in your left, then he went to your right real quick. So that's just giving the ad libs movement, and it's already custom. It's, it's set the tempo and everything, so that's, that always works. It's dope. It's a whole bunch of different presets. You can do it slow. You can do it fast, like however you want to do it. And uh, I just filtered them out a little bit with some channel EQ just to separate them from the main vocal. Auto-tune, and uh, that's pretty much it. You know what I'm saying? And another thing I did right here, I got the little altar boy right here. And that just really gave him like a weird sauce. Like I did some weird stuff. So just listen to what that sounds like, and then I'll show you the settings and explain that. All right, so that's pretty much it. Man, I'm going to wrap this one up. We coming up on 30 minutes. Hope y'all learned something from this. If it helped you, make sure you go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe, man. Lock in with your boy. Come join the fam. And I'll catch y'all in the next video, man. I'm out.